Hello there to our Hammond family, brothers and sisters. I'm Scott May, Senior Product Specialist for Hammond Organ, and this video is your easy guide to the Hammond SK Pro's combination patch and favorite system. The Hammond SK Pro is a beast. It's the keyboard you always wanted, but with modern progress, there's always a bit of learning you'll have to do in order to get it. Luckily, you won't have to go too far into the books to put the SK Pro firmly under your fingers. In this video, we'll help you learn the sound selection basics of the SK Pro. It will be very helpful if you have your SK Pro close at hand and plugged in so you can see and hear what we're talking about. Here we go. At this point, we encourage you to visit our website, www.hammondorganco.com, and download the SK Pro USA Reference Guide. This is separate from the owner's manual provided in the box. We will refer to the reference guide from time to time. It's a PDF file. Lots of pages, but don't be afraid of it. It's got everything you'll need to know about the SK Pro. Now, if you need any help in plugging in your SK Pro, consult pages two to four in the reference guide. First thing, be aware there's a safety feature inside the SK Pro, which may startle you if you don't know about it. After 30 minutes of no activity, like playing or programming, the SK Pro will shut itself off. It actually pops the switch rather loudly. It ain't a ghost, it's supposed to do that. We are required to advise you to keep this feature active, but it can be defeated. Go to page eight of the reference guide to learn how to turn this safety feature off. The SK Pro is basically four keyboards in one, leading off with a full featured Hammond organ, powered by an engine derived from our flagship XK5. A very accurate digital Leslie is also on board. There's a piano section with all the trimmings, acoustic grands, electric pianos, clavs, and more. You'll find a sample-based polyphonic synthesizer section, providing all the essential ensemble voices, like strings, winds, brass, polysynths, tune percussion, and more. Plus, a modeled analog monosynth with all essential controls on the top panel, plus performance wheels. Let's get you familiar with how to access these four sections. Look at the middle of the keyboard. See those four white buttons under the word allocate? That's your control center for the voices you wish to play. Organ, piano, ensemble, synth. The organ button plays the organ voices. Hammond drawbar, VX combo organ, Farf combo organ, Ace combo organ, and the classical and theater pipe organ voices. The piano button plays the piano type voices. Guitars, chromatic, percussion, and more. The ensemble button plays strings and other orchestrals, choir, bass, polysynths, and more. The synth button plays the monosynth. Each of those buttons is an on-off switch for a patch. You can see how easy it is to instantly move from organ to piano to ensemble to monosynth with each press of a corresponding button. If you powered up your SK Pro, you should be on combination F001, Vintage B3 DLS. The very top line of the display always tells you which combination you're in. By the way, DLS stands for the late, great Dr. Lonnie Smith, who designed that custom organ patch front and center. If you care to, pause this video for a second and explore the allocate buttons in this combination. Press them one at a time, playing the keyboard. Hear how the sounds change. See how the patches change. Come back to this video when you're ready to proceed. We're back. Did you try to press two at a time, three at a time, all four at once? If not, pause it again and try what we just said. Come back to this video when you're ready to proceed. Layering sounds is simple, and you can do it on the fly without ever changing the combination. When you're hitting the allocate buttons, you're just turning the patches contained in that combination on and off. You're not altering the patches or combinations. It should be clear by now what a combination is. It's a collection of four patches, one of each section, organ, piano, ensemble, and mono synth. As you pull up each combination, one section may be active, or two, or three, or all four. There's the beauty of the SK Pro's architecture. In working the allocation buttons, you probably notice changes in the display. The display will change depending on which section or sections are active at that time. 
We encourage you to check out pages 12 through 17 of the reference guide to learn more about the different screens in the Information Center display. While we're talking about patches, let's consider the category buttons found on the left side of the front panel. There is one series under Piano and another under Ensemble. The Piano category range has A Piano, E Piano, Harpsy, Clav, Crow Perk, and Other One. Under Ensemble, there's Wind, Strings, Choir, Synth Pad, Bass, plus Other Two. These categories refer to patches and the buttons are shortcuts to the patches you will probably want to use most often. The organ and synth sections do not have categories. To see how these work, make sure you are still in combination F001, Vintage B3 DLS. Press the Piano Allocate button. Now press the A Piano Category button. Note the screen. Here are all the acoustic piano patches in a list for your selection. Use the down cursor arrow to audition all the acoustic piano patches. When you've come to the end of that list, press the E Piano button and dig all the electric piano patches. Continue through Harpsy, Clav, and Chromatic Percussion. When you get to the end of the Chromatic Percussion list, press the Other One button. You'll see the guitar category. Go through those. At the list bottom, press the Other One button again. This will cycle you to the Ethnic category. Scope all those out. At the end of that list, press the Other One button again and you'll jump to the SFX category. Continue to the end of that list. Now do the same exercise with the Ensemble buttons. Press the Ensemble Allocate and go through the Ensemble categories in the same manner. The organ and synth sections do not have categories. Let's talk about combinations. We already know a combination holds four patches, but it contains much more. The combination parameters govern allocation and the levels of all four sections, like a mixer. Also, velocity, octave, transpose, key range, expression, damper, pitch bend, mod wheel assignments, reverb type, and send. This is for each section, if applicable. Luckily, all these settings are tailored for each factory combination. You'll not need to worry about them. They'll work behind the scenes. But know you'll be able to get in there and tweak them all to your liking, creating your own combinations, either edited from a factory combi or created from scratch. Now that you're familiar with patches and combinations, let's look at favorites. Favorites are how you get to the combinations you want, quickly and efficiently. Think of favorites the same way the presets work on your car radio or how bookmarks work on your web browser. There are many radio stations, but you assign your favorites to the buttons on your radio. Favorites on your SK Pro work the same way. There are 10 favorite buttons directly above the allocate buttons in the middle of the keyboard. From the factory, combinations 1 through 10 are assigned to those buttons. Unlike the legacy SK-1, which only had one bank of favorites, the SK Pro has 10 banks of 10 for a total of 100 favorites. From the factory, Bank 2 assigns combinations 11 through 20, Bank 3, 21 through 30, and so on up to Bank 10. We'll cover how to switch banks in a minute. For now, locate the play button on the right side of the top panel and press it. Then press Favorite 1. You'll be back to combination F001, Vintage B3 DLS. If you wish, pause this video and press the other Favorite buttons at your discretion. See how the combinations instantly pop up. Now let's look at the other banks. Find the Bank button just to the left of Favorite 1. Press and hold it and you'll see the light on Favorite number glowing. That means you are in Bank 1. Release the Bank button. OK, now press and hold the Bank button, then press Favorite 2. You'll see all 10 Favorite buttons start flashing. Release the Bank button. Now press Favorite 1. The display will show combination F011. Vintage C3JOS. You are now in Bank 2. Go ahead and check out the 10 favorites in this bank if you wish. We'll wait. If you press the Bank button, you'll see the light come on for Favorite 2. That means you're in Favorite Bank 2. If you continue like this, you'll go through every bank. For now, we'll go back to Bank 1. Press and hold the Bank button. Press Favorite 1. Let the Bank button go and press Favorite 1 again. 
you'll be back to combination F001 Vintage B3 DLS. As you audition the various combinations, you'll probably want to assign the ones you like to the favorite buttons of your choice. No problem. Let's assume you'd like combination F011 Vintage C3 JOS to be on Bank 1 Favorite 1 instead of Vintage B3 DLS. Use the value knob to cycle up to combination F011. We're already in Bank 1, so we don't need to change it. Press and hold the red record button, then press Favorite 1. You'll see a brief confirmation screen, then combination F011 is now in Favorite number 1. Remember, nothing happened to combi F001. It's still safe. You just changed the bookmark. You can assign any combination, factory or user, to any favorite in this way. Don't worry, you won't overwrite or lose your combinations or patches. Always make sure you're in the favorites bank you wish to save your favorite. Use the value knob to select your desired combination. Press and hold the red record button and then press the favorite button you wish to assign. All of these settings will be remembered at power down and will be available the next time you're ready to play. We encourage you to spend some time with the reference guide, learning the further nuances of editing the SK Pro. The guide is massive, but each section is actually quite easy to read. Consult the table of contents, find the topic you wish to explore, then go to those pages. You'll find what you need to know explained in plain English with examples and exercises. Thanks for watching this video. Visit our website at www. HammondOrganCo.com for more how-to videos and PDFs. I'm Scott May for Hammond USA. As always, Hammond is the sound, the soul, the one. Peace.